What's going on guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and today's video I want to go through all the different AdWords um, bidding options available, I should say automated bidding options that are available in uh, the, the campaigns. So the, I keep getting a lot of questions about the different auto bid strategies, so let's just dive right into them, right? If we're in our AdWords account, we're going to go into one of our campaigns, where you're going to find the bidding options, go to settings, in your navigation tab here, settings, you can see it here, bidding. So we would change this bid strategy because we're using manual. So the first option for automated bidding is target CPA. So it gives you a little blurb right here. It sets bids to the most <clears throat> to get the most conversions possible while reaching your average cost per acquisition goal. So if we if we chose target CPA, we would tell Google what we want to get leads for. So in the plumbing niche, I would say we want leads for like thirty five bucks, and Google will do all of the bidding and do everything it can, use all of its learning algorithms and historical account data, everything to bid for us to get leads for $35, all right? And the longer this runs, the more fine tuned it gets. I highly recommend if you're using this, that you already have some conversion data in the account, at least three months worth, in my opinion. It could be 30 days, I forget what they set it as. Let's see what it says here. With target CPA hours, I'm says bid. Well, all right, doesn't say there, but yeah. So <clears throat> the more conversion data you have in the account, the better, and easier and faster it's going to ramp up. But target CPA is a great bidding strategy, so you should definitely test that out. Target return on ad spend is what this is called. All right, so it's kind of the same thing as target CPA, except you're targeting, you're telling Google instead of a cost per lead you want, you're telling them a, a return on ad spend you want. Sets bids to help you get the most conversion value while maintaining your target return on ad spend. All right. So that's the same type deal as target CPA, except you set your return on ad spend that you want to get, whatever that may be. <clears throat> if you hover over here, it gives you a pretty cool example. If your goal is to get an average of $5 in sales for each dollar you spend on ads, your target return on ad spend will be 500%. All right, so you could set all this up depending on what your, uh, your target is that you want to re get returned. So that's pretty cool too. I don't really mess around with this one too much, but I know a ton of people who do. Next up is Maximize Clicks. Um, we use this a lot. Probably 90% of the accounts we work on, we use Maximize Clicks. And it depends, or some we don't, but I, I like to use this one. So Maximize Clicks is basically your, um, you can see over here, AdWords automatically sets your bids to help get as many clicks as possible within your budget. All right? Now, this can get dangerous, all right? So it's very, very, very important that when using this auto bid strategy that you set a maximum CPC bid limit or cost per click bid limit really important or Google will go crazy and bid hundred dollars on keywords that should be like 30 bucks or $15 a click all right I've seen it happen so make sure that you set a max CPC bid limit I always like to start small so if we're in the roofing niche I'll start at like 1603 or some obscure number I'll look at the search impression share after a few days running and if we're only getting like 70% or 60% search impression share I'll come in here and I'll bump this up a couple bucks and I'll let it run, and I'll just keep incrementally bumping up until I get the search impression share I want, and we're uh, streamlined. So that one's pretty cool. We use that a lot. And then the next one, maximize conversions. sets bid. It's kind of like maximize clicks. sets bids to help you get the most conversions within your budget, all right? So you're giving Google full control. You're saying, I want you to do your thing, use your algorithms, and get as many conversions as possible within the budget, daily budget that I have set. All right, this is another one. And with any conversion type auto bidding strategy, I highly recommend you your account or your campaign already has conversion data, preferably 30 to 90 days of conversion data. It's just going to do so much better for you. I would never use this right out the gate. Um, that's not a good strategy to use for that, but it can be powerful when done correctly. And I think we have a limo guy we use this for, and it's it's crazy. Guy gets like three dollar limo leads, so three or four dollar limo leads. So it's powerful if it's done correctly. Next up is target search page location. Sets bids to help you get your ads to the top of the page or on the first page of the results. So there's two options you can choose from. Either the top of the first page of results or anywhere on the first page. Don't do anywhere because you might end up on the bottom, which you might as well be on page 587 because no one's ever going to see you there. So you can do this. And then you could also add on a bid adjustment to increase it if you'd like. But that's a pretty cool auto bid strategy as well. And the last one is target outranking share. I've seen this a lot in the lawyer niche. 
um, just lawyers who are like, hey, my competition is xyzlaw.com, and I want, I want my ads to always show above them. I don't care about cost per lead. I don't care about conversions. I don't care about this, that, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think it's just like a competition thing for them. But this, you can set a URL that your ads will always show above that URL, your competitor's URL. So that's pretty cool, too. It's good for branding, stuff like that. And then, obviously, we have uh, manual CPC and enhanced CPC, as I'm sure you're familiar with. It adjusts your bids. Adjust your manual bids up or down to help you increase conversion. So, if you're running manual CPC and you have this box check marked, help increase conversions with enhanced CPC, you can go over here and it kind of tells you what it's going to do. Works by raising your bids for clicks that seem more likely to lead to conversions and lowering your bids for clicks that seem less likely to convert. That is the gist of how it works. Okay? So it's it's a good thing to test. Um, I usually run it when I'm running manual CPC campaigns. Um, I do have a few accounts where I don't use it at all, and they just they do fine. And you know, why make waves? <laughs> so that's pretty much it for so far. I'm sure they'll be rolling more out. You know how they roll. But um, that's pretty much it for the auto bid strategies. If you guys have any questions about any one of these bid strategies, drop them below this video in the comment section, and I'll dive in and give you a hand. Other than that, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and check out the description links. I put some, uh, some cool stuff in there for you guys.